Right, so this video is going to give you a quick intro into Decade Counters, just at a, a simple enough level that it will do you for the exam for a study. So I've got a whole bunch of circuits on this page. Um, they're all the same Decade Counter. We're going to learn about two types that you need to know for your exam. But I've just wired them up in different ways to do different things, each one getting a bit cleverer. So very, very quickly then, this is a real simple Decade Counter, and to be honest, the kind of level that you're going to get asked in the exam. And all these chips do is uh, every time we send a high pulse to this pin here, known as the clock, it says it's there. So we send a high signal by pushing the button. It advances to turning on its next output in order. Okay, so sorry, as I was saying, it, um, every time you send a high pulse, it goes to the next output in order. Okay, if we look at current flow, you can see on here, this one's on press it again this one is getting current sent to it so really all it does is it counts through 10 outputs hence the name decade every time you send a high low pulse remember this switch is and this pull down resistor are providing the high low pulse at the moment the resistor is pulling it down so it's low and I push the switch because it's less resistance this goes high okay that's all the decade counter does nothing cleverer than that Obviously you can use this to keep track of events, so this could be a steady hand game, every time you touch the wand to the track you lose a life. It could be for counting the number of people that walk through a doorway, if you put an infrared sensor there, it could do a whole bunch of things. Um, the only other things you may get asked of in the exam is how to make it count less than 10. So in this circuit down here, what I've got is just 6 LEDs wired up. and I've managed to count, make it count only as high as 6 before restarting and that's because the next output that would have come on I've connected it around to its reset pin so basically the chip resets itself when it gets to the final count as we can see here press it a final time, this one will come on send a pulse to reset and it will go back to the start like so if you didn't have this hooked up let's just delete that then it would still work but you would get 1, 2, 3, 4 five presses and then you get a sixth press, a seventh press, an eighth press, a ninth press while it's counting these ones and then finally a tenth press would be required to get it back around to the start so your trick for early resetting is to hook that up like that um, the only other one I'm going to bother showing you out of these is this one here which you possibly would get asked on but they'd be quite mean to do this here there I've used a 5x5 five five timer to create a pulse so you should have seen this in a previous video, this 555A stable circuit is making a high low high low pulse, you can see it going green red green red, and these pulses are arriving at the chip, so this is instead of me pushing a button, I'm getting this chip to generate the high low bits for me. Now it's not counting at the moment because I haven't enabled the chip, when I press this button I connect the enable pin to negative, the chip becomes enabled and it will start listening to these pulses and counting so here goes okay now obviously if you send those pulses quick enough you get the LEDs flashing really really quickly so they could be random and this could be the basis of a dice for instance if you suddenly click that it would ran if it's going fast enough it would appear to randomly stop on a number so three in this case three again four that or five that time okay and again, obviously, just on timers, remember, if I made that resistor bigger, my pulses are a lot slower, therefore my counting goes a lot slower. So if you get this circuit and get asked, how would you change the time delay, you mess with either of these two things here. Right, that will do on the 4017 counter. I won't bother showing you these ones. If you're interested, they're just on the network, if you've got a copy of Circuit Wizard. Um, they're just doing some more impressive things, but it's not worth worrying about for the exam, because you're only going to get asked possibly any of those three types. Right, your next circuit is, um, I'm just going to close circuit wizard and load it, the 4026 decade count. Now this one again is a decade counter, it still counts up to 10. Uh, there we go, sorry circuit wizard lagging a bit. Okay. Right, sorry bear with me. <laughs> Alright, I might have to load that again. I do apologise, I apparently can't load software properly. Right, there we go. Okay. 
There you go. Well done. Right, so anyway, the 4026 counter, as I said, still counts to 10, but um, what it's got included in it is a thing called a decoder. And it, this decoder takes care of turning our numbers into numbers that we can display on one of these things called a seven segment display. So, to show you in action, it's first, your first count would always be zero. And what it's doing is it's lighting up each pin required to produce the number zero. So if we look at the number zero, we need this, 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 everything but the middle segment lit up. So if you look, the little green symbol, we're lighting up A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, and no G, G is off. So we display a zero. If we wanted to display a number one, we'd have to light up just these two, B and C. And if I press the button and make it count, you see just B and C are on. And then it'd be a different combination for two, different combination for three, different combination for four, so on and so forth. That's the decoding part. So it's basically got chip that we looked at before, the zero to ten counter, and then it turns it into a decoder that then puts it on one of these displays for you. So it's really just two chips in one, and that's all you need to know about that. Same deal. Um, I don't think you'll get asked about this circuit, but it's just worth a quick look. The problem with this, um, you can't easily make it count less than 10 because it has a different number of outputs on each time. There is no, say, sixth or fifth output to come on. It's a different number every time you press the button. So what I've done in this circuit is I've used our old um, chip we were just looking at to count how many times I've pushed the button. And this will reset itself and reset the other decade counter chip at the same time so this will allow us to count only as far as six and you'll see when six is now on when i press the button again it will go to seven reset this and reset that okay so you actually have to use both of the chips we've looked at if you want to count to less than 10 with this type of display there we go just to remind you this one obviously goes all the way up to nine okay just like the other type we can automate it as well, so no prizes for guessing what I've got here. 555A stable circuit is sending our pulses, so we can see them high, low, high, low. My chip enable, both of them are not enabled at the moment. Both the enable legs are not yet connected to negative, but when I do by pushing that button, it will count. Okay, so you don't have to have the sensor yourself making the um, displays count, you can produce, get something else to create those on off on off pulses for you. Uh, the only other thing to note is you can daisy chain these together. You can have one display, if you connect this Q10 output to the input of another display, you can have one display counting after another. So, here we go. That allows us to count up to three, four uh, units and tens. If you wanted to put a third display in, you could count hundreds. If you put a fourth chip in, you could count thousands. So this is kind of the basis of how clocks work. But again, you probably don't need to know about that. It's just uh, for information. So there we go. Um, decade counters. All you really got to remember, two types, 4017, 4026. Remember the 4026 works with a seven segment display only, and it has a decoder built in it. Possibly remember this diagram, how these segments are labelled, they may ask you that. And then the only other thing to remember is a decade counter counts 10 events and possibly some products you can make from it. That'll do for this for today. Any more help, come and see me or check out the circuits.